Hello folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Blood and Plunder Militia, the new plastic box from Firelock Games. All right, taking a look at the Militia then. So, this box will let you build 12 hard plastic multi-part 28mm models with a variety of weapons and head options. And these can be used for any Militia type for any of the European factions. So, what do you get in the box? First off, you get a set of instructions. So the instructions are exploded diagrams. Um, so it doesn't show you an order of assembly, it does just show you what pieces go with what model. It's fairly self-explanatory though. Uh, you shouldn't run into too many problems when you're putting them together. I will say there are enough of the various swords and hatchets to equip pretty much all of them. These ones, for example, um, D6 has a, a hole specifically to take that hatchet. Um, the others don't, but you can just cut the little tab off the back of the hatchet if you want to give it to other figures. Likewise with the swords, there's a couple of different types with different scabbards um, that you'll see. So you can mix and match to a certain extent, but we'll see that in a second. Sprue-wise, you get two sprues, six figures on each to give you your 12. Majority of the bodies are one piece torso and legs. Uh, there are a couple that will require some assembly some legs for this poor souls here. We flip it over. You can see we have a variety of heads. So in some cases um, you get three heads per body to choose from. Most only have two. I think there's a single body that only has one option. Although I'm checking that now because I may be wrong. Three, two, three, three, two, two. Oh no, everybody has at least two head options. Um, so you can build them in a variety of ways. We have the daggers, we have these hatchets, different hats, so both tricorn uh, for a little more wealthy or serious militia. Uh, and then a, just a variety, a hodgepodge of civilian looking hats in a variety of distressing states some better than others. So we have another five down here uh, and one bare head as well. Weapon wise, match locks and flint locks. So you get a variety of both. Uh, I believe it's two for everybody with the exception of B because B can only be assembled in one way but everybody else can either have a a matchlock or a flintlock if they're a bit more how to do about them. And the detail's nice. Jackets and um, frock coats all very well represented with nice detail on them without being gouged too deeply, which is always an issue. We also have uh, some powder horn and pouches and then some smaller shot uh, pouches as well. So let's take a look at some of the built ones. So you can see here, they went together very easily. This is the um, single pose, so you've no option with gun here. He is just uh, sort of priming the, the pan or fixing something. He had a little place that I was going to put a hatchet on and then thought I'll put the sword on. Um, didn't get it to sit particularly well. There is like a little notch under the pocket uh, that I think a hatchet would sit better into. Um, buyer's remorse there for me really. Having thought I'd go hatchet and then swapped it, I should have stuck with my initial thought. But yeah, nice figure. He is, to give you a rough idea of scale, 30 mil to eye level and almost 34 to the top of his hat. 
he is joined by, like I say, a variety of other militia civilians. There's a chap with a hatchet. Those hatchets will be handy if you have the soldier's box as well um, to add to the guys with the mitre hats to make grenadiers just to uh, reinforce the whole feel of them being a salt unit. But overall, a very easy box to build. Nice miniatures without much in the way of mold lines on them and uh, spruviates are very well situated so you can get together a militia force or use them as uh, sailors or sea dogs with the uh, upgraded muskets from the the pistols they have that sort of hung together look yeah I'm very impressed by this box nice set of figures and should paint up very nicely indeed. So there we have it, some home growing defence, uh, doesn't matter who you're playing, you'll be able to find a home for these. Uh, they'll also work very well as musket upgrades for able seamen, sea dogs, pirates, that sort of thing as well. So a lot of good value in this sprue and I assume a lot of people are going to be grabbing boxes of these, uh, especially if you're just getting into blood and plunder. But let me know below what you think of them and how Firelock are moving into the plastics. Until next time, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.